This week on Outdoor Bound TV. It's all about walleyes as we travel to Manitoba, Canada for some incredible marble eye action through the ice on beautiful Wakusko Lake. Pro staffers Brian Bogdan and Captain Lee Hosh will give us a sneak peek into some of their go-to baits to catch more of these finicky fish. Brian also shares with us some of his techniques to target walleyes when on a new body of hard water for the first time. Look at that fish. Yes! Good job. It is girls weekend. That is awesome. Definitely a treat. Unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Ice Force by Rapala and Strike Master Ice Augers. No matter what you're chasing on the ice this winter, Acme Tackle has you covered. From the innovative Hyperglide and Hyper Rattle series to legendary Castmaster, Rattle Master, and Sidewinder Spoons, or the all new professional grade tungsten series, Acme Tackle has what you need. Visit acmetackle.com to check out our full product assortment. Acme Tackle. Rattles louder, glides further, and glows brighter. Get hooked up with Acme Tackle. There he is. There you go. Hey, got one. Jake, there he bit. Great fish. And the dangler rod holder. Introducing the dangler rod holder. Revolutionizing tip down performance. Available at your local retailer or online at danglericefishing.com. Strike Master introduces the new Lithium 40 Volt. Everything you've ever wanted in an ice auger. With a 40% increase in cutting speed over the competition and up to 100 holes per charge, the Lithium 40 Volt has the power and stamina you need and the two amp rapid charger that can bring a fully discharged 40 volt battery pack to a full charge in as little as two and a half hours. The new Lithium 40 Volt, only from Strike Master. Mountain Dew Ice, a clear, refreshing lemon lime dew. Came to drip, 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 Mountain Dew Ice, a clear, refreshing lemon lime dew. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Manitoba, Canada. We're here with our pro staffer, Brian Bogdan. We're back at Wakusko Lake. Now, these are one of the lakes that we love to come here in northern Manitoba for great walleye fishing. Now, what we're doing today, we're going to be jigging for walleyes. But here in Manitoba, you're allowed two lines per fisherman. So what I like to do is I take my second line and I put it out here on the dangler rod holder. Now, you've seen us using the rod holder for the last couple of years. It's a very effective dead stick way to be able to fish. Now, I've added something new. It's called the trip up. Now, all you have to do is simply add the trip up to your rod. It's held on by a Velcro strap. It's got a small apparatus on it that you fold a small flag down. Once your depth is set, you open the bale on your reel. You put the line in the clip. When the fish hits, the clip releases. It flips the flag up. You notice it, you can come over, you simply lift up on your rod just like you would on any time when you're jigging, and now it's just you and the fish. So it's a great way to dead stick for some of these walleyes here in Manitoba and really everywhere we go. We've used them on perch, we've used them on walleye. They're really a very multi-species type apparatus to use, and they've helped us put a lot more fish on the ice. Here we 
go. Oh, this one. This one's a little nicer. There we go. That's what we're after. The bite seemed a little bit finicky this morning, and what I'm doing is a little bit aggressive jigging when I'm not seeing anything on my electronics and once I get a couple of fish in I'm just slowing my the jigging right down to just trying to make my jigging wrap quiver just a little bit when this one bit a couple of them were on the screen so maybe they're gonna start getting a little more aggressive on us here and hopefully that means uh, faster action and a little bit nicer and bigger fish to come up in Manitoba we're not able to use live bait uh, so we've got to use frozen emerald shiners and I've got these nice strike master bait pucks work great for just putting a couple of the frozen shiners in keep them in my pocket and when we need, need to use bait I simply take one out and put it on the hook put the cover back on and save the rest for the next the next fish just putting half of them in either the head or the tail I'll use the head first, and when that's gone, I'll use the tail. It's coming off bottom, it's coming off bottom. I got my drag a little loose. There we go. Now the snock size, ultra light rip and wrap, gets you snock size walleye just like that. That's a perfect eater up here, 17, 18 inches. Those are the kind I like to eat myself. And uh, you know, we're, you're allowed for a person up here under 21 and a half inches. So a couple guys caught with perch colored. So I just went to this rip and wrap, no bait. And I'm just keeping it about three to four feet off bottom. And usually I find since they have such a slow fall rate that, uh, that they always hit it on the downside. He came up and hit it there. You know, it took a little bit to try to get him off the bottom. But he did come up and hit it. There we go, nice eater sized walleye. He showed up and he made a pass at it and never did make contact with it. And then uh, I went to set the hook, obviously, and I missed him. So came back up and about four feet off the off the bottom is where he actually hit it so just goes to show stay with them you know that's where great electronics come in you know you get a chance to really read what the fish are doing and follow what they're doing and you know normally this would have just been a swing and a miss but i could see the fish was still there he just went a little bit higher in the water column i went up to him got him to follow again and he hit it i think we'll take that one home and eat that one tonight nice So the first time you're on a body of water, you get a chance to fish somewhere you've never fished before. Where do you start? How do you how do you find fish? Well, the first way to go is always look for a map. Uh, if you can find a map, you know, up here in Manitoba, there's only a couple of lakes that have chips for them. Everything else is old paper style. Uh, it just gives you an overview of depths and also gives you a good overview of feeder creeks. That's one of the main things we like to fish, especially when you start getting runoff. That brings in oxygen, brings in, you know, your plankton, brings in your bait fish, and then following is your predator fish. You know, you're looking for reefs, you're looking for feeder creeks, and the other big thing is pinch points. So a lot of your bays up here will have a smaller entrance and those can kind of be a really good pinch point, a spot that the fish narrow down if they're cruising in and out. As well as you want to look for areas that have deep water adjacent to. When you're in the midwinter, a lot of those fish will push deep and sit down there and you're just waiting for fish to come up into those depths that you can fish that you're not going to cause bear trauma or stress to the fish. Another nice one for the frying pan, Brian? Huh? Yeah, we're gonna eat nice tonight, that's for sure. Unfortunately, if you don't get on a lake in the summer, you know that's when I do all my homework. Go over it, see what kind of structure there is, GPS where I'd wanna start. And you know, spots might not hold fish in the winter and vice versa, catch spots in the winter and you don't catch a fish there all summer. So um, if you can't do your homework in the summer, then go and get a map. It's not a matter of just picking a spot on the lake and drilling one hole and expecting, 
you know, the magic to happen. You have to actually still do work. You still have to fish. You still have to drill a lot of holes some days. And you know, some days you get lucky and they're there and some days you actually have to work hard at it. So there's a lot of depths, a lot of different contours, a lot of different bottoms to look at. And you just kind of got to grind it out. There he is. And just even here on the spot, you know, the fish weren't here in shallower, so we had punched a few holes deeper and look at that. What do you got? Another some, walleye, that's a better fish. And sometimes just that few extra feet made all the difference. Absolutely, five yards. Five yards puts us on fish sometimes. Yeah. And, yep, that's you know, exactly right. Everyone knows about Lake Winnipeg and jumping, you know, a quarter mile at a time, but sometimes here, 10 yards, put the auger on your back, just start making holes. Well, and it's funny because, you know, the, I was fishing in a hole about 15, 20 yards that way, and, and it just kind of flattened out. Nothing was happening, so just made a move, and it was two feet different water, and that made all the difference. What do you think? Do we want to eat this guy? Yeah, today? he looks prime. 20-incher, yeah, perfect that's eater. Great. You know what? There's more fish down there, so I'm going to get down there. Fish on. Oh, look at that. Another nice Wakuska Falls, Wakuska Lake uh, walleye. A little bit too big for the fry pan, about 22 inches. We've been trying a lot of different lures, and I don't know if as much lure selection as it's been a little more technique, at least, at least. Uh, on the ones I've had. Really, really, really slow presentation. Now it's early in the day. We've got high skies. It's a beautiful bluebird day here. Uh, it's funny, it's March 23rd. You'd never guess it by the temperature. I think it was probably in the teens when we went out this morning on snowmobiles. And I think it's not supposed to get much of above 18 degrees today. Um, back home in the Midwest, uh, you know, we're talking about open water fishing and starting to get boats ready and everything else for open water. And I know there's a lot of guys fishing the Mississippi River and the Fox River uh, in open water there in the boats. And we're up here in Manitoba and there's probably close to four feet of ice. Uh, there's two feet of snow on top of the ice. <laughs> You'd never guess that it's spring when you're up here. Now what's unusual about this area of Manitoba, Brian actually guides ice fishermen well into that first week of um, April, sometimes mid-April, and even late April based on uh, what the ice conditions are. Normally in the spring we lose our ice conditions to slush. That makes it pretty difficult to get around the lake, but here everything's still pretty well froze up and I don't see any real warm weather coming in the forecast. So for here in Manitoba, that means at least a couple more weeks of good fishing. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Otter and Beaver Dam Ice Fishing. Otter, the leader in quality and innovation, is opening doors with the release of the all-new Crossover Series Ice Shelters. All Crossover Shelters convert from traditional front door entry to convenient side door entry and back again in seconds. Otter, the toughest, strongest, smartest, and now most versatile shelter on ice. Shuttle only from Markham Technologies. Big Bear Down has all the supplies you need for this year's hunting season. Check out our large selection of 10 point and Horton crossbows and accessories. Big Bear Down has added more hunting gear, deer attractant, mineral, and accessories to meet your needs. Come see our in stock selection of hunting blinds, stands, game trail cameras, and more. Big Bear Down has the quality name brand products you can depend on again and again. Big Bear Down, conveniently located on Highway 13 in Abbotsford. You are the
the first to rise, first to teach, to get your hands dirty and lend them. You're first to protect. As a hunter, being first is a big part of who you are. And we are first for you. The single most influential hunter's rights and conservation organization in the world. Join like your way of life depends on it. Just another one of those quick change-ups. Oh yeah, he said <laughs> pumping pretty good. <laughs> you know, we didn't have anything going there, and I said I just needed to reach a little deeper into the bag of tricks, and I went with a brand new bait, a slab wrap from from Rapala, and oh no way! Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you know. <laughs> Multi-species, Kurt. Multi-species <laughs> is right. <laughs> Folks, if you've never seen one of these fish, this is probably one of the most unique fish that we get a chance to catch up here in Manitoba. And they're pretty prevalent through northern Minnesota, Ontario, and so on. But this is a bourbon. And, uh, you know, they're, they're really an odd fish but they taste wonderful. A couple years back, Brian's wife, Alyssa, made bacon burbot bites. And I'm telling you, some of the best things I've it ever is. eaten. Yeah. So we'll let this guy go. You and betcha. And find the walleye thing. <laughs> yeah. Felt pretty heavy off the get-go. He's moving water. Walleye on the dangler with a Callum's lead head. There you go. I switched up the morning I had uh, white and pink, and so I ended up putting just a chartreuse and green. Uh, this is gold seemed to have been the color that was working a bit better, and got another one for the frying pan. Oh, we're gonna eat good tonight, Lee. <laughs> Can't wait. Awesome. It's got, it seems to have a little weight to it. Oh. Nice Manitoba walleye. This one smacked a pink clown slab wrap uh, just off the bottom, tipped with a, with a minnow head. We're gonna let this one go so uh, we can come back and catch him again as a trophy. I'm starting to graph some fish here on the Markham. And I've had two fish come up and look at the bait and then they've swam away. So for me, that's a pretty clear indicator that they don't like my offering and that's my cue to switch it up a bit. So uh, I tend to give it a couple times and when I see fish come up, if they don't want to hit, I change baits. Just red You got a fish back there, Lee? Yep. Oh, I missed him again. <laughs> there we go. We probably got it hooked up. Oh, come on, Kurt. We got to get our triple. Oh. <laughs> He's here. He's here. <laughs> this is crazy, isn't it? It is Manitoba mayhem right now. Uh, you got another walleye. Nice. Just another 20 incher. Just, Not a big deal, you just know. Just another one. Just another there. one. Back down. <laughs> Get a bigger one. Out of the way, Kurt. <laughs> I can't let you guys have all the fun for trying all <laughs> Yeah, just another oh, 20 inch Manitoba walleye. <laughs> Look at this, this is just crazy. Brian is right here and Lee's right back here. We're just kind of in a line and you can tell when these fish move in because you know, Lee hooked up and Brian hooked up and now I've got one. This is just a ton of fun. And <laughs> When you say Manitoba mayhem, you mean it. This is crazy, isn't it? Look at that. So up here what I found this year is I bought a lot of these VMC rattlespoons and uh, 
The chamber in there just makes such a good rattle and they have a really good color schemes on these Ultra Glow. This is a chartreuse with the glow back. And that's what a lot of our forage base is here is actually shiners or spot tail shiners, emerald shiners. But this Ultra Glow, absolutely incredible. Uh, just a fast glow, fast charge, and it holds it for about five minutes. It's just something good for your arsenal if you're looking for something that glows fast, glows well, and has the right action to catch his fish, this is your ticket. VMC rattle spoon, right there. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. This feels a little better maybe. I fish real aggressive, so I ended up putting a an eyeball from one of the small walleye that we kept, the eater walleye, because I was just having trouble with keeping my minnows on. Dark, dark, dark walleye though. Pretty cool coloring. But what I've been doing is I've been using this VMC rattle spoon. Like I said, I fish, I fish real aggressive. I like to rip it until I see a fish come in and then I slow it down. And I'm having issues because we're barbless, especially keeping that uh, piece of minnow on there. So uh, in Manitoba, you're allowed to use things like the eyes or belly off the meat or off a fish for bait. And so I just pop an eyeball out with my thumb and put her on the hook. And then I know that I can catch a lot of fish with this and I can rip it as hard as I want. And I know it's not gonna fall off. Ryan called it, he says this is Manitoba mayhem and he's exactly right. You know, we're right in a line here fishing and we've got kind of a reef and these walleyes are coming in and pushing up onto this reef and we're each using something a little bit different. Uh, Brian's got a VMC spoon on, uh, Lee has got a rappel a jig and wrap on and I've actually got an Acme rattle, hyper rattle on and uh, we're all trying something a little bit different to see if we can figure out what they're gonna hit on. Fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, you know what? The eyeball wasn't working much. Well, it was, I got a fish coming in and couldn't make him to commit, so I put a smorgasbord. Left the eyeball on and put a minnow, and the first fish comes in, connects. <laughs> and boom. Oh, nice fish. Boom, shakalaka. Barbless hooks. Plump little walleye, 20, probably 21 incher. Nice fish. Back in the water. Smorgasbord again. You know, as fishermen, we like to think that we've got it all figured out. Don't even have it anywhere near, do we? <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> I had to go high and reach for the stars on that one, but <laughs> that's all right. Not a big fish, but I tell you what, this never gets old. This is a ton of fun. Now, I've tried something a little bit different. Acme Tackle came out with a new bait this year called the Hyper Rattle. And what it is, it's a lot like the Hyper Glide that has wings that deploy. The only thing, the Hyper Rattle has no wings, but it's a heavier bait and it's got a rattle built right in. And I wanted to try it on these walleyes here in Manitoba, and looks like it works. We're gonna let this guy go. Here we go, here we go. There we go. Just like that. I worked on a few fish here, back to back to back, and there we go. Walleyes in Manitoba. Gold walleyes in North Manitoba. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by PK Lures and Markham Technologies. Let PK Lures get you geared up this ice fishing season with the legendary PK Flutterfish. Uniquely designed for the ultimate vibration, this jigging spoon accurately mimics a distressed bait fish. And with the glowing eyes and wide variety of colors, the Flutterfish is a must-have for your tackle box. The PK Predator is a pan fish killer. The patented blade design creates a flash that triggers massive reaction bites from huge perch and crappie. Check out the full line of PK Lures at pklure.com or at a retailer near you. 
offering features not found on any other underwater viewing system, the Quest HD from Markham Technologies offers a vivid 7-inch widescreen display, Sony camera, and the ability to send video to a TV over HDMI in full 1080p. The Quest HD offers on-screen display of direction, temperature, and depth. This season, get your eyes below the ice and see what you've been missing on the big screen with a Quest HD underwater viewing system from Markham Technologies. Since 1957, Meyer Buildings has offered full design and project management for your farm, equestrian, commercial, and storage building needs. Our recreational building line specializes in the design and construction of affordable, remote area buildings for the outdoorsman. Bring your dreams to life with custom building solutions and Meyer Buildings. Whether it's a new vacation home, farm addition, or commercial project, our attention to detail is second to none. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call us today for a better way to build. Room Motors has been serving Central Wisconsin since 1947 and offers a full line of quality Kubota tractors, mowers, and RTVs. Let the knowledgeable staff at Roo Motors help you select the best Kubota RTV for you and your family. From weekend food plot maintenance to projects around your yard, you can count on Roo Motors for all your quality Kubota products at both convenient locations. Roo Motors, take the short drive up Highway 45 in Anigo and Burnhamwood. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Venom Outdoors and Yeti by Northland. Fish. There we go. Oh. I grabbed the other pole that had a chartreuse jig and wrap on and I don't know what the low light, they seem to like it. There's three quick ones in a row on it. That we also seem to be having a lot more fish moving in. The sun's starting to go down and I've seen a lot of these walleyes coming up to feed on this reef here. There's still fish down there. <laughs> Well, it's been an incredible day here in Manitoba. Brian calls it right, he calls it Manitoba madness, and it has been madness. It's just been a wonderful day out here on the ice, and we've got to thank Brian and his wife Alyssa from Wacusco Falls Lodge. Every time we come here, doesn't matter if it's the summer, the winter, we just have a great time. They've got great northern pike fishing, great walleye fishing, and great, great trout fishing. So if you'd like to give them a call and come on up, all of their information is right on the screen. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the U.S., around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. If you look at it here in Ontario. Ah, ah. Dog on it. Ah. Oh my gosh, it duffed it, are you kidding me? Now what that does, <sighs> Let's see, what is it called? It just simply clips, unclips on one. What the heck? The bays up here will have a smaller... Uh... I'll go back and give it a second one. Mm -hmm.